Well, I can't give you any new uh, messages with regard to his uh, health uh, condition, uh, apart from uh, to say that uh, we still uh, hold to the uh, medical bulletin that you received from his uh, personal physician. The Prime Minister is still undergoing uh, surgery. It's progressing well, according to the doctor's expectations. Uh, the patient is in uh, stable condition. And apart from that, we have to wait patiently until the, all the procedures of that operation are completed, and the doctor will issue a, a bulletin uh, after they finish. And uh, of course, we will let you know immediately when that happens. The government, uh, I want to make it very clear that right from the outset, from the minute he was brought to the hospital and was incapable of uh, functioning, uh, in other words, that uh, when he was uh, put uh, under anesthesia before he went into the uh, uh, MRI test, uh, at that moment uh, we activated the uh, procedure uh, whereby in consultation between the uh, uh, cabinet uh, secretary uh, Mr. Maibon and the uh, Attorney General, uh, it was decided that uh, authority will be transferred immediately, uh, authority and responsibility of uh, the job of the Prime Minister will be transferred immediately to the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Eld Albert. He was notified. Uh, all the ministers of the government were notified and uh, are being updated about his health, uh, the health condition of the Prime Minister and the uh, progress in the operation. And uh, a government meeting is scheduled for tomorrow, today, I would say, uh, at 9 o'clock Israel time, uh, in which the new uh, uh, prime minister or the acting prime minister will uh, make a statement. And uh, the government continues to function. Uh, there is no void. There is no uh, vacuum here. Uh, and to anyone who entertains any notion uh, to try and exploit this situation, maybe neighbors on the north or in the south, I can uh, tell you that uh, the security forces in the IDF are on full alert and ready to meet any kind of uh, challenge. The government continues to function, the country continues to function, and if uh, I have to make any uh, definite statement about the health of the Israeli government and the Israeli ministries, they're healthy and functioning.